So we'll create a file share using the Azure CLI version 2. So there's basically just two lines of code to get this done. The first line we'll use a variable and into that variable we'll pass the command az storage account. So we'll show the connection string, we'll pass the name of our storage account which is nr storage account, our resource group name which is nickrumor underscore rg and then we're querying for the actual connection string that we can use. So this connection string creates the details that you can use to connect and build a share. So your access keys in this and also the, the suffix that will be used for your UNC. So let's have a look inside that variable now. And you'll see the endpoint, which is core.windows.net. And you'll see the account name, which we'll actually use as a username. And then the account key, which we'll actually use as a password. So now we can use a command called az storage share create. We're going to call it files. That'll be the share name. And we're going to give it a quota of 50 gigabytes. You can go up to five terabytes. And then into that, we'll pass the connection string. So the output is telling us it's been created. So let's go into the Azure portal and just check that. So in our storage account, we go to services and then into files. And there you see our share has been created. So let's now connect to that share. So first we paste in the UNC. So you'll see nr storage account dot file dot core dot windows dot net backslash files. So we're now asked for our credentials and for a password, we we use the access key. Okay, so let's just create a file. And if we switch back to the Azure console, and there you can see the new file. Thank you for watching this video.